The Explain Everything app is great for creating video, but it's also got some nice tools for annotating and commenting on existing videos. I've got the app open on screen right now. And if you're not familiar with Explain Everything, it's what's called a screencasting app. As you can see, there's a whiteboard where I can create and place objects, and then I can record my interactions with them on screen. I've got a menu of tools on the side, and on the bottom of the screen, I have my recording tools. So let's import a video and annotate it. I'm going to tap on the plus icon in the toolbar, and I'll select the existing video option. I have an old video of New York around the turn of the 20th century, which I'll go ahead and select. Now it's processing it. And there it is now on screen. Now remember, when I press the record button and explain everything, it's going to record whatever happens on screen along with the audio of me talking. So if I want the video to play as a part of my recording, I have to start it and then press play on the video as I'm recording. Now, if that sounds confusing, just hang on a sec and watch, and I'll show you how it's done. I'll start by starting my Explain Everything recording here. You can see it's recording from the timer on the bottom toolbar. It's also recording me speaking at the moment. Now I press play on the video. Now the video is going and it's recording the video playing on screen. At any point in my New York video, I can press the pause button. And now I can annotate, highlight, and comment on the video. So I can select, for example, my laser pointer tool and point at things in the video. If I wanted to, I could select the annotation tool and I can draw on the video. And whenever I'm ready, I'll just go ahead and restart the video and it'll keep going. Now imagine that this was a video of a science experiment and I was explaining the events taking place. Maybe it's a time-lapse video of a plant growing. Whatever the video, I can pause it at any point, annotate it and explain it. When I'm done, I stop the recording and you can see my recording at the bottom there has gone for a minute and 24 seconds. And we can press play and see how it came out. Now my end product is now a video and I can tap the export button and save the video or share it with others.